guys and girls, this is Glenn here once again with another Rogue Rage video. In this video we're, we're going to learn how to fly. Not literally, but it will feel like we're flying when we take off with this side swing technique. We're going to learn what I call the flying swing or the flying side swing and um, I'm actually putting this video together because a number of people have requested it so I want to give a shout out to Thomas who sent me a long message on Facebook telling me all about his progress it was great to hear and he said he wanted to see a tutorial for this specific technique so here it is also to Christopher who asked for it some time ago I apologize for not getting around to it until now but it's time and any others who've asked for it who I've forgotten it's time, the time is now. I'm gonna try and make this breakdown as simple and as concise as possible. The first thing we need to be aware of is what the flying swing is. If you look at it properly, maybe this might involve slowing the video down to look at it, or if you've just got a really keen eye, you can pick out what's really happening. And essentially what's happening is you're doing side swings at speed in midair. So you've taken off from the ground, you're doing your side swings in the air, really slashing through the swings. So there's the first clue. The first step is that you've got to be really tight, really sharp on the swings themselves. This might mean going off and just doing, working on the swings repeatedly, just going over the swings again and again and again until it's sharp. Um, you want to get to a point where you're not really thinking about it because if you imagine, if you're in mid-air and you're thinking about what you're doing, you haven't got much time in the air to think, um, unless you're Michael Jordan or something and you can hang in the air forever, but... You haven't got much time so you want to get to a point where you're not thinking about your side swings this takes thousands of reps i've been through it myself there are a couple of videos on the channel that are addressing this topic in particular i'm going to pop them up in the corner check them out if you need to for reference but really do work on those side swings okay and i don't actually train like this but <laughs> I'm trying to make it really obvious that you want to get to a point where you're really not thinking about the side swings and you're just doing, letting them go. I'd recommend doing it with your stronger hand leading. For me, it's the right hand. So when I'm doing my flying swings, I'd go off and I'd control it with the right hand. The right hand leads the way the whole time as well, by the way, you're not switching hands. So that's the upper half, the upper half of the body addressed for the flying side swing. Get those swings sharp, lead with your stronger hand. Another element of the flying swing is the power. And the power comes from your feet. The power comes from pushing off the ground into the air, giving yourself enough elevation to complete that technique in the air. So one thing you might notice is that whenever I do this technique, if I'm skipping with my feet together, as I'm about to do this transition, I separate the feet slightly to give me a larger surface area, um, a lower center of gravity when I'm about to jump. You spread the feet slightly, you sink into the knees, and then you push up. So just as I'm ready right there, the feet separate. And that's because I'm lowering my center of gravity, getting ready to commit to that jump, and then push upwards. Using this power to push through into the rope, transfer the energy, so you get a really sharp, zippy, kind of aggressive, slashy Zorro kind of move. So we've got those two sections covered. Now let's actually walk through what we're doing throughout the technique. We need some momentum. So I'm going to show you the difference between me trying to do the flying swings 
from a standstill and trying to do the same thing when I've got some momentum and the ropes going. You can see like the, the difference between doing it at a standstill or even not at a standstill but actually having the side swings going but without the jumping momentum. You don't really get the push off that you need. You can see that with that rope going it's much easier, you get much more zip to it and that's just because you've got the rope already moving at speed, you're already jumping, you've got your rhythm going and you can just bounce up into a nice powerful jump. So get some momentum, try not to start from a standstill, get some momentum going and this is why I have to stress it's important to be really comfortable with your side swings because this isn't something that you can start off really slowly, you have to commit to going into it. So make sure your side swings are down. If it helps, use a really light rope. <laughs> you don't have to use um, a metal rope like the one I use, the RX Smart Gear rope, because if that hits you, it hurts. I'm sure a couple of guys who have spoken to me who've said that they've tried this out and it hasn't come off. I'm sure you've experienced that. So if it helps, use a lighter rope. If you don't have a lighter rope, you're stuck with what you've got and you just have to work on those side swings, getting them sharper and then building. Okay, so after you've got your momentum, the next key is commit. Let's think about that as a key word. Commit, commit, commit. Commit to the flying swing, meaning you sink into your jump, into the beginning of your jump, bending the knees, and you've already got your swing started on one side. You're ready to leap off and then go into those flying swings. It really helps because you've kind of got one swing out of the way and then you can get the other two in the air and then land back down again. After committing and you're in midair, it's important not to let the hands slack. Or to lose your hand positioning technique. Remember, as long as you have the handles pointed out at a 90 degree angle from the body, that rope's not gonna hit you. If you've got it, if your hands are getting lazy and the rope starts to creep in, that's when you might realize that the rope whips you a bit more often than it should. So remember the hand positioning technique. Have those hands positioned out at a 90 degree angle. I'll quickly demonstrate that. 90, 90. At the side of each swing, that the handles are pointed 90 degrees away from the body. If, that ha if those hands start to slide in, this is what happens. Okay, the rope starts to catch you. You want those handles pointed out. If I do it from here, you want the handles, I'm pointing to you with my handles now. If I start to slip and my hands go here and I get lazy, that rope's gonna start hitting me. So it's really important to have that 90 degree angle observed at all times with the flying side swing. And this is why, again, it's important to get to a point where your side swings are automatic, where you're not thinking about them and you can just go. Focus on the jump and just let the side swings do their thing. got to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite techniques. <laughs> All right, so that's about it for the flying side swing. What I'm going to do now is go into a few demonstrations, do it from a few different angles so you can see how it looks from different perspectives. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it ironed out any sticking points that you had. If it did, and if you did like the video, be sure to hit that like button. Do not just click off the video and go about your day because I'll be very hurt inside.
um, oh yeah if there are any other tutorials you want me to look at please do drop them in the comment section below I know sometimes it takes some time for me to get them done um, but I do make a list I check it twice joking I do make a list and all of them will be done in time even if it takes months for me to get a video done I'll make sure I address it at some point so keep them coming in let me know how you've been getting on with this technique or if it's a technique you think you'll be trying out drop it down below it's always great to hear from you guys I'm gonna run now because I've had a pretty long training session before this and I need some food so I appreciate you taking the time once again out of your day to check out this video until next time all the best with your training and stay raging you must subscribe if you don't we have no videos <laughs> subscribe to this video once again subscribe that's it Thank and you. subscribe for all the videos that we watch if it's finished we get more videos coming on yep. so subscribe to all of the videos that we watched you must subscribe Press the press button and then you'll see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs> oh, that was fun.